Greetings, dear ones, and welcome back. So I am still continuously going through all the requests I got from you on different topics to bring up. And today this really spoke to me. And it says, I have recently been trying to connect with other people, but I have such a hard time speaking up in front of a group. This has been a challenge for me since I was a child due to bullying and neglect. And I re really felt this one in my heart. And as we are moving to a time where we are asked to collaborate, to move into communities and to reach out to people, to support each other, this really is holding us back. And I think we all, to one degree or another, have sensed this um, experience when we give our power away. It may be to another person or more easily it happens with a group of other people. And this also, of course, it affects us in our in different family situations um, or with friends or new group of friends or a friends friends or a partner's family or in different work environments <clears throat> so it's really about the sense of me being wrong or me not being good enough or not being worthy or not being someone to listen to listen to or uh, respect or pay attention to uh, so for some people it may just be about neglect or uh, if you have that experience of being bullied it's really it is really go it goes really deep that you do wish to reach out, you do wish to expand, you do wish to move beyond your comfort zone, but you have this strong sense of uh, withdrawal to stay safe, um, to fear the worst, because you have that, that experience. And of course, it's always, as I've been talking about so many times, um, it is really, we do have these programs to be likable. The group, the tribe needs to want us, to love us, to accept us, for us, for our existence. And this is a very, very old and very urban program that mankind wouldn't survive without this program. But now when we are here to thrive, when we are here to reach out, when we are here to build those beautiful communi communities, to move to unity and move out of our isolation, this, this may stand in our way. So thank you for you who, uh, who uh, asked for this clearing and this healing and to all of you who have sent me requests. I like to be in touch with you in that sense, to really feel you. And I feel that this deep pain as we connect to Source. So I feel one foot on the gear, one foot on the, uh, on the brake to this longing of belonging and this fear and strong sense of pullback. So I call the beautiful beings of light to support us right now and to surround us as they enter, as they hold you, as they make you, first of all, to feel safe and to relax so you are able to be open to receive. On one hand, I feel this longing of, to, of surrender, to surrender. And on the other hand, I feel that part in some of you who really 
doesn't want to be pulled out in the light, who wish to stay in the darkness, in the shadows, in the, in the cave of isol isolation to be safe. And we need to just very gently approach this aspect of you. Leia na liata shekur sanekui shai de kriane so shosh. Emuru so fe kurusana sisakria sana. Toshai ke arisaki toshani te sukos ane uriso ekrianush. Sanae a kear sashi ke tore sho ate korine shekur so shai. Lorine o toshai. Mitra Sankyar Sasha Koshanai Nuko Sasha. I feel this deep pain arising of being excluded from a group. It, I think we all experience this in childhood, and for some people it continues from family, from friends, from work situations. Nekre so no koya ete koroso shoko to sana ete pero no kosha na she koroso shoko laya na yake soko to sai shane ko ai na keos lene so this is just a heart healing healing those wounds for you so ketro shai te or sai kino me she lia na. Foer seco elianeti li liliari se shu. Eu no sheti ko sai shelur e su shu. And I see those wounds, like physical wounds, and how they are pouring, your guys are pouring this holy water on it, and it miraculously heals. Sai eliare sekiar. Lai a te yo sai ki tai enore se shu to shai ti kurisan e fur sa shai ti kus and they start to shower you with this holy water to release those memories, release the attachment to, to those experiences, to not allow well, to allow yourself to leave them behind, not taking them with you as constant reminders that what can happen if you involve with other people. It is safe for you. Kintore seko sha te koreate ke aresem te kos. She for no jaya trash a cake or seki, a liata tare corso shaneke, eo tayaki kotaya corsana, she corso shai oliare teke, totoshana, fiare te, a kior so shai nayaki. And it's like they're asking you to open your hands so they can dissolve this, they can take it away from you if you're willing to open your hands and let it go. Me for sanyaki or so shakito, and now they shift energy to move and they ask you to move inwards to stay in your center. Because what happens sometimes in a group of people, we tend to um, lose ourselves, we tend to get out of ourselves and our center, and we give away that power. We think that I'm wrong and they are right and they are to define me and instead they want to shift back this imbalance to you stand your ground just in a very peaceful way that you know who you are because you are connected to source you are and nothing can make you less than you are no one nothing but your thoughts. They say that they are just the perception. So they say, don't give in to false sense of identification. 
Kerse olier e kukar ati shotasha teresako and they say don't become what you think that they need you to be. Meneri sai kiku sai shatai dai, whatever that means to you, it has a deep meaning. Ne ku sai she kurusota. Ela ya kute she kurusanai. Sota sha kurusanai na kuku shai. Many of you are empaths and you tend to lose yourself to others and in a group of people and to external energies and they say to you to come back to your center. Keter sekere o sokor sakai ate koro no shoto soso shanekir eke ko sanayan so that you had a strong sense of this is me, this is where I stand and this is you. Tar seko shanai and I am here with you but I don't lose myself. And the self that I may lose is just the ego self, the illusions of who I am. So even though I think I lose myself, I'm never lost because I'm always connected, connected to source. So also that's, they also address that place of you, that state in you, that you who think, who identify yourself, with what you are not. Sakre soko shanai, ekre soko shanai, teliar ikiti sino shonoko shanai. And for those of you who think you need protection from other people in that sense, um, you do not because they cannot do anything to you. They cannot steal your energy. They cannot. It's just that when we think that they mirror us badly, that we think we need to protect ourselves. So kare sai akai okur sakiki shanai. And the light beings are now infusing your field with lightness and easiness and and sense of being carefree. Nothing, no one can tell you what you are or what you are not, because you know their ones. And that's why you don't need to fear other people. Nothing and no one can take away your sense of worth and worthiness. Stand in your inner column of light connected to Mother Earth, connected to Source only. Ayataya koreso shanayaka le so no shayati kosai sekreya sa sha anu yur so sha ki to nayaki for sa shayetu kushuno kosai le no no shanayaki to esina korese shu No, and they will now reduce the fear. Can they na ese o no shai kiar sa shai to shai ne or sa shakite o linear se koriante kushokus o shai te korian sa kito sushu. Nelia ne koer shai ne kiar sakete shai ki kosher. Feel how your mental body starts to expand. Norosokai na yoko te shoko and that's a sign of mental programs are being released. Layaya so shai te ki aliar seke shinoko yur seneke to shai te kaya yare so sho. Me furu so no te seki o to shor, li no so no shai a tai o ko, ya ki ar sai a te shino shai te so ko, o shai a te korean nai shai tu sai, 
Now see how that guardian that wants to protect you and by that keeping people away from you, keeping distance, are surrendering, are falling to sleep. With other words, are getting inactivated. And that means that those programs are shifting. You are safe. Mufur sono shanareseko netiaeko sushai tushai. Allow people, the beautiful souls I see surround you, to reflect back at you, the light in you, the love in you, to bow to you. As we thank each and every one on our journey who play their parts in us coming here, experiencing separation, moving back to unity, as we, with our wholeheartedly intention, dedicate ourselves to the light within, as we choose to identify with the light within, and we then choose to see that light in others, beyond their programs, and we allow them to recognize the light that we are, as we recognize the light that we are. Nerse ko ai shetre ko lian ake korsasha so for sashai ki otoshai minore se to eki tash eki orsa we are safe and we are home and we are one namaste Thank you.